We're back now with a scam costing taxpayers billions of dollars. ABC's Alex Perez has more from Chicago, where identity theft is on the rise, and officials are warning it could soon impact all Americans. I was surprised and concerned. Ed Dudley says he was in disbelief when he received at least five of these letters stating he had applied for unemployment benefits. I hadn't filed an unemployment claim. When the first one came, I thought perhaps it was just a one-off. But then not too long after that, I received uh, yet another email. Dudley, who lives in the Chicago suburbs, says most of the claims under his name were denied. But he says he did receive an email saying at least one claim was processed to an unknown bank account for more than $800. This type of identity theft is so rampant. Our Chicago station WLS reporter Jason Knowles and the ABC 7i team have heard from hundreds of local people who say they are also victims of unemployment fraud. The Illinois AG's office says the scam varies, but here's one way they say these criminals are preying on the unsuspecting. A scammer gets your personal info through places like the dark web. They then file an unemployment claim using that info and tie the claim to a bank account the scammer can access. Suddenly, you're getting an email or letter in the mail that says you've applied for unemployment insurance, but you never did. These scams are so rampant, even Illinois Attorney General Kwame Raoul was targeted. I was the victim of it myself, where I received a debit card in the mail as a result of somebody filing for unemployment benefits in my name. In A.G. Raoul's case, he believes the scammers were trying to change the mailing address to get the funds sent to themselves, but failed. In a lot of cases, sometimes it's small-time actors on a local level, but sometimes it's international actors, so it's difficult to, to crack sometimes. But uh, we've been successful in, 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 in some cases. Ed Dudley says he was never able to figure out how exactly his identity was stolen, but hopes by coming forward he can motivate others to better protect their information and avoid falling victim. And if this happens to you, to help protect yourself, the Department of Labor says you should monitor your credit report, sign up for identity theft alerts, just in case thieves decide to use your information in some other way, like opening up credit cards. And the Postal Inspection Service says it's very important to report any potential fraud. Otherwise, it could impact you when you actually do need to file for unemployment. Alex Perez, ABC News, Chicago.